Hello everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do your weekly reading. Um, this will be for approximately the period 23rd to the 29th of August and is for the sign of Virgo. Virgo, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and for being with me today, of course. <laughs> if you're new, welcome. Uh, if you are interested in a personal reading with me, classes, um, donating to help grow the channel or life coaching, because I'm currently offering a short-term life coaching program uh, that you can extend if you want to, but I'm doing a very reduced price. Um, so if you're interested in sort of get moving forward, increasing your capacity in life, understanding yourself, healing after a, you know, a toxic relationship, healing after childhood trauma, any of those things, then please email me and we can talk through whether it's the right direction for you. Um, please remember the readings are only general and make sure you give me a thumbs up. It's most appreciated. Thank you. All right. I'm using the Wild Unknown Tarot for your reading. Um, I'm going to write you down so I don't forget who I've done here. Spirit is talking about the road less travelled here. So you have some sort of energy of moving in a different direction, Virgo. The road less travelled. Something new is opening up for you here. It could be a new opportunity in work or in love or maybe moving into a new area, changing state, but somewhere you've never been before. Let's see what's going on. All right, maybe that's why. <laughs> okay, so we have the Two of Cups coming through. Now, the Two of Cups is a card that talks about a soulmate relationship. As soulmates can take any form. They can be a love relationship or a romantic relationship, but they also are friendships, you know, very close relationships with family members. The difference between a soulmate relationship and a mainstream relationship is that you have a very close bond with someone. It's someone that you can perhaps tune into their thoughts or understand how they're thinking or feeling. But maybe you have a very honest and truthful engagement with them where you feel comfortable about discussing things about yourself. Now, it can be a partnership at work, but again, it's that deep or level, level partnership where you share, you know, the same sort of ideas and the same sort of visions as another person. Whatever this is, whatever this relationship is, it's a very deep and meaningful connection with someone. Okay, so we have the Two of Pentacles coming through here. And the Two of Pentacles is a card of making a, making a decision, balancing a decision, making a making some sort of decision to move in a direction here. The two pentacles look equal, and this person in the traditional tarot is constantly tossing them up. So it's very difficult to decide which direction to go in. It often means that you're making a head over heart decision, a decision between two very equal things, two people, two places, maybe even two jobs, but you're picking something different here. So we have the card of the world coming through. So there's some sort of conclusion here to move on to something new. You're having this sort of breakthrough here. Um, maybe you've been doing the same thing for a very long time, the same job, the same relationship, the same situation for a long time. And the universe is saying to you, it's time to close down this now and move in a new direction. Okay, so some of you could be dealing with the King of Pentacles. Now, this is the card of the husband. So it could be that you're looking at moving away from a husband, but it could also talk about perhaps going into some sort of agreement, contract arrangement with someone who could be a husband or potential partner here. All right, and then we have the Mother of Swords. So we have the Queen of Swords coming out. I'm going to go one more and the High Priestess. Right here. So I feel like here that you have an opportunity with somebody here. I'm feeling that this is more romantic love for you. Um, some sort of decision that has to be made. So for some of you, I feel like you might live at a distance to each other. But there's a connection being made that's very, very strong here that you want to explore. Um, and I feel like here with this world card, it may mean sort of changing where you are and moving towards this person. 
whoever this person is, you do see them as a long-term connection. Um, it's possible you're dealing with, um, an, well, it could be another earth sign, but I feel like this is your energy here. So you see yourself as a long-term partner. I feel you're dealing most likely with a Libra, Gemini or Aquarius. The universe is saying to you here, in order to make this decision, you need to find out other more information, but you need to use your intuition. Does it feel right to you? Do you feel that you're making the right decision? If you're following your intuition, then you go for it. So you're taking a new path here. Okay, so I have the Ten of Pentacles coming out. How beautiful. So there's some sort of abundant energy coming in here. So feeling like perhaps you've met the person you could spend your life with, maybe, you know, investing in some sort of new business with someone, whatever it is here, there is abundance promised. <laughs> All right, let's get your story. Okay, so we have the Eight of Wands, things moving quickly. This is messages going backwards and forwards across the airways. This is um, this energy of um, speed, of trying to speed things up, of trying to move things forward. I might just move those across a little bit. Um, trying to move things forward. Sometimes we can do things too quickly. I always say to people, slow down and enjoy the moment. You've got plenty of time. Don't have to rush. All right, nine of wands coming through here. Nine of Wands talks of boundaries. This may be moving too quickly and you may have to sort of put your boundaries in place. We do have the Hierophant coming through here. <gasps> okay, somebody wants to commit really quickly here. There's this energy of wanting to move into a more committed relationship, especially with this Ten of Pentacles. Somebody wants to make haste while the sun shines. Um... It's always a little bit of a warning moment for me where I say to people, don't rush things if you're not ready. Don't let someone else rush you into something if you're not ready to be rushed. Um, it can be a little bit of a red flag if a person isn't willing to wait until you're ready. So please be aware of that. But I do think somebody wants to move something very, very quickly here. Very nice. Somebody's feeling extremely passionate. I feel for some of you here, you may have met online and you may have fallen in love with someone online, but you haven't actually met them yet here. Because there's a, a brand new physical start here. This is passion. And I feel like your relationship hasn't got to this stage. That's why somebody's trying to rush it here to get to this physical connection. Okay, so we have the moon coming through here. There's a lot of potent cards here. Um, mother of pentacles coming through so you definitely have someone here who is the yin to your yang because you've got the queen of pentacles and we had the king of pentacles up in the beginning so this person is potentially you know in theory maybe already married to you you have this strong connection here in this ten of pentacles i feel like there's more information that needs to come to the surface here with the moon though um as I said, sometimes we tend to rush things. Um, you can rush something, you know, online and not meet the person and then find you have very little chemistry. There doesn't seem to be that sort of energy here with this Ace of Wands. I feel like somebody's wanting to move this to the physical level very quickly. And I feel like somebody may be hanging out for marriage. Interestingly enough. Okay, so we have the Offer of Love coming through with the Page of Cups here or the Knight of Cups. The Four of Wands, which of course talks about stability. There's marriage here all over this. But then we have the Three of Swords, so I need to clarify this. All right, let's see what's going on. So I feel like someone's met their soulmate. Someone's met the love of their life. They want to move things quickly. I feel like some of you are tossing up because it may mean, mean, sorry, mean that you live at a distance to this person. And there's some sort of hurrying something up. And I can see here that someone wants to move it to a more physical level. We do have the world, though, talking about something coming to a close. So I feel like some of you, you're going to have to move to be with this person. You are seeing yourself here as the king of pentacles. And we do have the queen of pentacles in the reading, giving rise to the fact that there is a husband and wife connection here. Um, and we do have the queen of swords. So I think that you're dealing with an air sign here. 
The universe just cautioning you to make sure you're listening to your intuition. I do think with the moon coming up in the reading as well, there's information that needs to come to hand. Sometimes we can feel really strongly when we're talking over the internet, but the connection you have through chemistry is so important. Um, but it's also about the fact that people can be uh, not true to themselves when they're online. People can wear masks, which you don't really see until you get to know a person. So there has to be the physical connection. Um, it is a bit of a it is a bit of a dream state being on the internet. You can make yourself what you want to be. So uh, until you've actually met the person, it's probably wise to slow down. But I feel somebody here is very anxious about getting a relationship to the physical level. Um, that doesn't mean that you have to be living apart to do that. You just may not have got the relationship to that point. I feel like it's possible that somebody here may be hanging out for the commitment first. Um, may, not, may not necessarily be marriage, but definitely waiting for some sort of commitment to come through. The thing is, I have the Three of Swords right at the end of this reading. So I want to find out why it is that the Three of Swords was delivered right at the end here. So I'm going to get some clarifiers. Okay, so we have the hanged man here. So maybe somebody gets to this point and then is thrown into some sort of energy of maybe waiting. Maybe this is what this is all about. Maybe this person is saying, you know, we need to wait and do things in a reasonable time. Okay, so we have the king of cups coming through. There's no doubt that this person has a great deal of love for you. Tennis one, so but has to put some sort of burden down first. Okay, Ace of Swords. All right, that makes a whole lot of sense now because I have the moon here and, of course, I had the High Priestess. There's some sort of truth that needs to be revealed here. Um, the Ace of Swords talks about a brand new start based in truth. So something about this relationship has got you all up in your feels, definitely here with this Queen of Cups. So... The energy is very much about falling in love very, very quickly. But there's also this feeling here with this Three of Swords that maybe someone's dealt with somebody toxic in the past or a narcissist and is being really cautious about how they move forward with this. Sometimes people wanting to rush into the physical side of a relationship can be a sign that they either want just the physical and then they're not going to stay. Um, this is why it's so important to build a relationship that's based in trust and friendship first um, so that it isn't just about the physical. But it can also be here that you're concerned or the other person's very concerned about getting into something and experiencing pain again. So somebody wants to take it slowly. Somebody wants to rush it. There's a good deal of love and passion here. I feel like it's long lasting, but Maybe you need to be sensitive to each other's feelings here and build that trust between you. Okay, I have the card of community coming out here, which is quite interesting. All right, an animal message here for you. And that one wants to come out, the wild horse. Okay, so the wild horse says, speak your passion aloud and defend those whom you love in word and deed. So I feel like here you need to speak up. This is why you're getting the Ace of Swords here. Don't hold back. Be honest with your truth. Be honest with your feelings here. So important. Like hiding things away when you're starting a new relationship out is really detrimental to the relationship. But you've also got to be careful too that you have firm boundaries. Don't let people know too much up front because if they're going to abuse your trust, you're not going to be sure about whether that person is going to do that or not. So there's a nice balance between vulnerability and boundaries here. Okay, now we have the card of community coming out. So I'm feeling for some of you, if you're moving a long distance, you may be connecting with people in another community. Um, this card shows three women celebrating, sharing ideas and supportive energy. The lights in the picture represent your ever-present spiritual community as well. When this card appears upright, it indicates an association of some kind. It may be a casual connection of like-minded people, joining a club or community of some sort, or even a business partnership consisting of three or four more entities. The time is right to make such new connections and to share intentions, whether they're personal or professional. 
Networking and community are important parts of the human experience and the security and sense of connection can be beneficial to all. It's true that when several people join their intentions, it accelerates their power in the energetic realm. Receiving this card puts you on notice that the universe is sending some beneficial alliances your way. Like the Happy Family card, this could also indicate a party or celebration of some kind. So you may have met this person through an online community as well. Um, but definitely you feel very connected to them through the same sort of, through having perhaps the same likes and dislikes here. But you want to move it quickly or they want to move it quickly. And the universe is saying, you know, just take your time. The truth needs to come out. You need to be completely honest, have good, honest communications. But there's definitely love here. Thank you.